So we probably all saw the video about vapor polishing and I wanted to try it out and see what we can do on in different time scales. We have this skull I printed yesterday. Nice little organic looking model. Uh, nice curves on it. I want to see how that gets polished out. And then finally we're going to be trying this guy with lots of rough edges and see what it does on those rough edges and maybe if we get any sagging from this. What we're going to be needing is a um, nail polish remover. Um, this is a dollar nineteen cents from the hardware store. Um, glass jar, this is from Pickles. And then we're going to be needing a coat hanger, bent shape, and this is the cutout of a bottom of a soda can. And lastly we're going to be trying out these two because they fit together as a box and they twist together. So we're going to see how the fit changes when it becomes polished by the vapor. Now I set the temperature in pronter face or 110 Celsius and we're nearly there. I like to use infrared thermometer. Um, in the center of the bed it's usually hottest and then as you get further out it gets cooler. So we're going to be putting our jaw right in the center of the bed. We're going to be putting nail polish remover into here. Uh, we need about a tablespoon but you can eyeball it. That looks good for me. Now cover it with the lid lightly uh, because paper is going to be escaping so you want to give it some room you don't want to pressurize this and make it hard to open up looks like we're up to temperature now um, right in the center we got about 107.6 so let's put on the, the jar now right in the center let's see uh, when we start getting some vapor showing up this is about a minute in and the uh, jar is not terribly hot yet so this looks like it's going to take a little while to start getting some vapor forming. Now this is two and a half minutes in and you can start to see some condensation on the jar and the very bottom is about 40 degrees Celsius, 41, and uh, it looks like we have some vapor so I'm going to start putting in the first model first model we're going to be using is the cemetery statue I printed out this morning. Carefully place her inside. And uh, you don't want her touching the walls because that'll be a place where it might melt to the wall. Let's start the time and see how the vapor affects it. And we're going to come back in one minute intervals until we get a nice shine on her. Now, after the first minute, you can see the bottom is a lot shinier now, but the top doesn't seem to be affected. Uh, this is because the vapor is hanging down close to the bottom of the jar. Let's put it in for another minute. She's been there for two minutes now, and she's not tacky or anything. Um, but it is sticking to the base slightly. This is at five minutes and uh, she has a dull color all around her and she's not nearly as shiny but it is a little bit smoother to the touch and actually I feel like I can scratch off the top layer so I'm gonna put her in for another five minutes or so and see what happens. You're gonna be looking for vapor droplets, acetone droplets on your jar I have acetone droplets on the top of my jar now, so I can tell that the whole jar is full of vapor because it's condensing, uh, condensing from the top. This is at 10 minutes and there's really no appreciable difference. It's not really sticking to the bottom here, so that's not really an issue. It looks a bit smoother and the surface is very soft. You can push through it with your fingernail. Um, I'm going to see how long it takes to get the same results that were in the video. I suspect that there wasn't much more uh, difference because the acetone was running out. So I put some more acetone in there and I see it condensing against the side of the jar again. Let's see if that speeds this up. This is at 25 minutes. 
uh, you can see the bottom is really getting smooth and shiny but we still have ridges everywhere the top is not quite as shiny but it's getting there also the su surface is very smooth to the touch and it feels very uh, soft this has been 33 minutes inside and uh, the bottom is very shiny very shiny and very smooth uh, but the top still is lacking you can still see a lot of the uh, ridges from printing and actually I think we're losing detail on the face here um, so let's try the next model now we're going to see the effects on parts that are meant to stick together uh, and screw in. I'm just going to leave it in for 15 minutes and see how it looks at the end of that. This is 15 minutes for the heart box and you can see it is really shiny now. Um, it's still really soft and I don't want to mess it up. So I'm going to come back in a few minutes and see how the fit is. It hardened up a little bit and you can see the fit is really smooth. And it's just as good as it was before. Um, I can't find much difference with, uh, with this. Maybe it's a little bit shinier. You can still feel the ridges. But uh, this method didn't seem to do a lot to this uh, kind of model. Um, Maybe it's just organic forms look a lot better when they're just smoothed out and shiny. Now lastly, we're going to do 15 minutes with the skull shot glass. Here is what the skull like looks like after 15 minutes and it looks beautiful. It's really fantastic and I was able to reproduce exactly what was happening uh, in the video. And this works great. Definitely try it. Um, the statue didn't come out as well. The vapor was starting lower and the top looks a little bit rougher than the bottom, but it's still really nice and glossy. Um, this heart box doesn't seem to have a difference, but you can definitely feel how it was working. I think I was running out of acetone when I ran this, and I put some fresh acetone before I tried the skull. Uh, for comparison, you can see this gear it's not nearly as shiny as the heart box or the statue. This wasn't treated at all. Um, this guy, I decided against just running because I didn't think I was going to have very good results with it. And I, I think that the, the flakes on the top and the bottom would have uh, not helped at all. Alright, thank you for watching. Good luck on your own 3D prints.